when I got here, this entire stretch was underwater. And as you can see, the road descends, although the marsh top stays more the same. <laughs> they mentioned you might have to wade through about a foot of water. But actually, it's more like a foot and a half. It's deep. And you can kind of see it's very clear water. And you can get a sense of the uh, muddy boot prints that are down there of those who managed to pass through here when the tide was actually out. It's flowing at quite a clip. And you get the claret crimson hued splash of that funny salt tolerant marsh plant everywhere. Sun's starting to come out. Lenny Luck, the title, finally let me pass. <laughs> That's what I get for not looking it up more carefully. I don't know how well this lens <coughs> penetrates the water, although it is very clear. <coughs> but there's an amazing abundance of little silvery fish fry just going nuts down in here. So this is a habitat of considerable extent. All the little dimples that you see on the water are caused by fish fry. Fingerlings of every description. They seem to be chowing the algae. <laughs> and they're going nuts. <laughs> One interesting thing. I've observed about this red stuff is that it's kind of like a hybrid of seaweed and a terrestrial plant. Some mid-stage. So when it's submerged by the tide, it's kind of flaccid. And then when the tide goes out, it's uh, very taut as there's some kind of osmotic adjustment. As I understand that it, its property is that it releases the salt from the sea in little crystals, it sort of excretes it. Now the tide is moving out really quickly. Huh. Some larger fish up in the channel too. Interesting. So you can really get a sense of what a nursery this is. Just watching these, this abundance of fish of many sizes, of tiny, as they gorge themselves on all the algae. Figure stuff out. Probably herring. But if you just extrapolate how extensive this our system is, here we are in just one little nook of it, and it's still vast. You can use some imagination and just think of how much of a fish nursery the whole thing is. Now, I believe <coughs> I'll finally be able to cross if I really wanted to risk getting mildly wet, I could do it now, but I don't want to fall in my butt and drink, so I'll just stand pat. Besides, this is fascinating, the 
momentary boredom had me staring at the water and the revelation of what an extensive fish nursery it all is followed. Now well, they seem like they're over at the little bank edge there. <laughs> That's pretty funny. A nursery. I plunged, <laughs> miscalculated a little and got one foot mildly soaked. But I guess that's an improvement over wading in a foot and a half deep stuff barefoot. But it was well worth it. This is great. Man, if this doesn't give you a sense of the tide, what will? See this whole thing, it, how far it's gone down? This thing I gingerly stepped over was actually a culvert, so we've got some pretty good tide differential right around here. And there are little herring fish fry of different kinds stranded in some of these pools providing some sort of snack for some sort of adventurous predator but there you have it <laughs> this thing held me up for about an hour just goes to show you so when you're here you definitely want to look up the tides and now it's just a short hook to the parking lot and a bit of the old out of here.